Good morning. You join us as the final minutes start to tick away before the beginning of practice here in Monza. The teams are working furiously on the cars, making last-minute adjustments before they get out on track. One of the most famous corners here at Monza is the Variante del Retifilio, uh, the first corner chicane. It's been the scene of so many first lap incidents over the years, and I think the teams will be holding their breath, hoping that they make it through that corner cleanly at the start today. This is such a tricky corner to find the right braking point for. You approach it around 220 miles per hour down the main straight, then scrub off 170 miles per hour in just over 100 meters. It's very easy, therefore, to overshoot and end up driving through the escape road. on your qualifying goals for this weekend. Qualifying is about to start here at the Autodromo di Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. The teams are about to head out onto the track any minute now. When it comes to getting lap time out of this circuit, it's traditionally been about maximizing top speed. Do you simply remove as much downforce as possible, hang on into the corners and max out down the straights? Top speed is a key factor for this circuit. Even if you can achieve the same lap time as someone running less wing than you, chances are you'll find overtaking difficult if you have too much drag.
situation changes, we'll let you know. is complete and we're all set for an exciting race tomorrow. Your top three are Rosberg, Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. on the race goals you should keep in mind. It's race day here in Italy once again. Monza, home to so many records. The smallest winning margin, for example. Do you remember in 1971, Peter Gethin beat Ronnie Peterson to the line by one hundredth of a second. There were 40 overtakes for the lead alone in 1965, and Kimi Raikkonen clocked a record top speed of 230 miles per hour here, just over a decade ago. So there's a lot to live up to then for all of our drivers today. With top speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour, few places can hope to touch Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in Formula One. Hard braking zones going into three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, well, two DRS zones will help encourage some close action. It's a very tight turn one here and a very big braking zone. It's a corner, Anthony Davidson, where we've seen a number of lap one incidents in the past. As you say, it's a very small piece of track when you have more than just one car trying to go through it. The actual run down towards the chicane is quite wide, so at the start, we'll often see drivers running two or maybe three abreast as they come up towards the braking zone. Everyone wants to brake late, of course, to win track position, and that tends to be where we see a lot of contact. And you'll see the more experienced drivers kind of hang back a little into here and focus more on picking up the pieces from other people's incidents. You can run side by side into the retifilio, but don't break too late on these cold tyres or you will hit someone. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Nico Rosberg will start his silver arrow from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Ricardo, Asalba, and Raikkonen, Bottas, Massa, Verstappen, and Marcus Ericsson, Alonso, Hulkenberg, Sergio Perez, and Button, Kvyat, Grosjean, Carlos Sainz, and Kevin Magnussen, Gutierrez, and Verlein. Jolian Palmer and Rio Harianto completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Let's 
to the front wing. Be easy on the car till we get it repaired. We don't want to risk making this worse. Okay, some information on Gutierrez. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Dark gap behind is 0.7 seconds. Mercedes team today. And I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what set them apart from the competition here. The difference was clearly in the strategy. You could tell they'd done a lot of work on the pit wall to really optimise each stint and get the most out of the tyres. And it highlights just how much of a team sport this really is. And the credit to the driver as well, though. There's no good having a well-oiled machine behind the scenes without a talented hand on the wheel, of course. Well, this is it. This is where they all want to be. Here come the top three then, out onto the podium after a fascinating Grand Prix. Let's take a look at the driver's standings. It's a good result for Nico Rosberg, who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I'm going to say Jensen Button. People always say he's a really smooth driver, but as he's shown here today, that's not at the expense of speed or overtaking skill. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Sauber, whose good result moves them further up the championship. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Ant and I, it's goodbye, and see you again next time.